this is my symmetry smush art um, lesson for first grade classroom and this uh, little art project here focuses on the use of symmetry and kind of introduces the topic um, kind of show and demonstrate why things are mirrored the way they are and how symmetry works in life so without further ado let's get into the materials so the materials that we're going to use are super simple. It's only going to be paper, 8.5 by 11, doesn't matter what kind, and tempera paints. And then we're going to focus on the primary colors. So we've got our blue, our yellow, and red. And those make up the primary colors. And so the first thing what you're going to do, without anything, you're going to make sure that you write your name on your paper. I think this is an important step to add, especially for first graders. They are still developing their fine motor skills, and they still aren't used to writing your names out. So any excuse to make them practice um, their name and writing it out is always very important. So, so after you write your name, you're just going to fold the paper in half, hamburger style. And the reason why we fold this um, is to show that imaginary line. Um, that symmetry demonstrates it's the same on both sides so to make that a little easier for kids to understand we're going to have that crease in the middle to show that imaginary line of symmetry and i'm just taking our first color here blue and putting a couple drops on there and i think to make this easier would probably use like glue bottles empty elmer's glue bottles and clean those out and have glue in there that way it'd be easier for kids to uh disperse the, the paint on the paper. Then we're just going to fold that in half and rub gently on the paper to kind of smooth out the paint. And you're going to want to make sure to smooth out gently because as here, I got paint everywhere. Um, don't panic. That's okay. We can just wipe it away. Not a big deal. Um, but I think it's important to tell your students that you should definitely be a little careful. So no paint smushes on the sides here. So, yep, I'm just cleaning this up. Not a problem. We're using temper paints, so they're washable. Um, so no mess, no fuss. And then, voila, we're opening it up. And we have our first color there. So you can see that both sides are exactly the same. They mirror each other. Um, so then we're going to take our second color, which is red. And we're just going to do repeat the same process as the first and we're just going to drop little paint spots wherever you want onto the paper on one side only. And then you're going to fold it over again and rub a little more carefully than you did with the blue. And then once you have the red and smooth that out, you're going to open it and you have your second layer here. And so again, they both mirror each other on both sides. Then we're just going to take our next color, our third yellow, and we're going to put paint on, again, one side. It doesn't matter which side to do. You can do the left or the right. So once you get your yellow on there, you're going to fold that in half. And this time I put some well. of the yellow on top of the red and, and the blue as well. And this is just out. to kind of introduce the idea of color mixing and using primary colors to mix into different colors. Even if color mixing and using primary colors to mix others is not the topic of what your lesson is based on, I still think um, doing that subliminally, they'll still kind of have that in the back of their mind for when you do introduce that lesson. So after I did all three, I just went in and used all the colors again, kind of fill in more of the white. So this is the final product that I made. I think this lesson is perfect for first graders. It is a really great way to introduce the concept of symmetry and allows students to not only strengthen their motor skills with the folding and the squeezing, color theory and color mixing are introduced with the primary colors. It's also very successful because any student can make this and make it turn out great. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys are inspired to make this art yourself. Thanks, bye.